Saint Sebastian peers out from the canvas. He is dressed in the signature deep reds and blues of Raphael. Next to the painting of Saint Sebastian, Mary Magdalene strikes a similar pose in a painting by Raphael's teacher Perugino. The resemblance is a clue that Raphael's art evolved within a community of mentors and friends in his hometown, Urbino. Now, Urbino in central Italy is honoring its most famous son, 500 years after his death, with a new exhibition titled Raphael and his friends from Urbino. It juxtaposes his paintings with those of his peers. Raphael was undoubtedly a genius, but he emerged from a milieu of other artists. Raphael was a contemporary of Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, but was also influenced by painters from Urbino, such as Timoteo Vitti and Girolamo Genga. The idea behind the exhibit is to draw a comparison between the lives of three artists who shared Urbino as their birthplace, and through the milestones of their biographic and stylistic journey to tell the story of the grand transition from the 1400s to the 1500s. Born in 1483, Raffaello Sanzio was first influenced by his father, Giovanni Santi, a prominent follower of Renaissance humanism, which revived the themes of classical antiquity. Raphael was raised in the teachings of the ancient thinkers with the idea that they had to be realized. In truth, the idea of realization belongs to all artists of the time. By the way, Raphael built his language, combining many different models and creating a new language, is absolutely unique to him the result of his humanistic upbringing in Urbino. Raphael was one of the most innovative artists of his time. His skill with perspective, soft light and high contrast combined to create exquisitely beautiful and harmonious paintings. From Urbino, he went to Perugia to train under Perugino. From Perugia, Raphael went to Florence and then to Rome in 1509, where he later worked as chief architect under the patronage of Pope Julius II. I think we have to imagine Raphael in his time as the most modern artist of his time. He was the most contemporary artist, uh, and everybody knew that. It was not uh, that after his death they said what, what a big artist he was. Everybody know he is up there, he is the genius, and everybody else is the second level, apart Michelangelo and Leonardo, of course. The exhibit Raphael and his friends from Urbino features 85 works, including 17 paintings and three sketches by Raphael himself. The exhibit took two years to organize and cost 1 million euros, one of the largest budgets ever seen in Urbino, which has just 15,000 inhabitants. The director of the Marquis National Gallery says that if you've not been to Urbino, you cannot claim to understand Raphael's mastery. We expect that in the Raphael year, a lot of people will go to Florence, to Rome, um, uh, to see his works, but they have to come also to Urbino. Who is not going to Urbino in the Raphael year, we can say, did not understand Raphael, because it's very important uh, to know where he is born and uh, what was his first education. The collection came from museums all over the world, including the Uffizi in Florence, the National Gallery in London, and the Liechtenstein Museum in Vienna. The exhibit runs at the Duke's Palace in Urbino until January 19, 2020, to mark the 500th anniversary of Raphael's death.